Hi guys, so I'm home for a little bit, which is kind of exciting. Um, and having a really good hair day, as you can tell. Um, so this week, this past week, I was in um, the US again, and I actually went to the team roping finals with Cody. So this is like kind of a different look at, um, you know, a different rodeo event and something that's kind of foreign to me. So um, most of it is uh, us at the team roping finals, but uh, it was kind of a cool week and something fun, a little bit different. Um, and the cool thing too was at this team roping, there was a lot of girls roping and a lot of girls that made the short go, which is really cool. Um, I don't think, I'm gonna start team roping anytime soon. Um, yeah, I don't think I could handle the whole team aspect of it. I know that sounds weird, um, but I've been in a sport that is like barrel racing that's me and my horse only for so long that like the thought of having to rely on, you know, another partner, I just, I don't know. And I think it would be too hard for me. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you a little bit about those team roping finals. It's not even light out yet. Cody, how do you feel about this drink I just made you drink? Uh, no, I'm not talking yet. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Cold pressed juice. It's really not that bad. <laughs> A little bit of me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Where are we? <laughs> the Radio. I'm sure you're already ready aware of them. This is what happens to team roping horses when the, there's a barrel racer around. Gets taken care of and spoiled. Look at all that back on track. <laughs> Gave a little bit of this to eight today. He has a little bit of an anti pant, so hoping it'll calm him down. Day one! First one, they rope inside. Next one, outside. I'm still trying to figure out how this whole team roping thing works. Mm. Almost set back for round three, Marty and Roy. It's in my pants. I don't stand still. It's in my pants. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I feel like you're stalker. I feel like you're stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing about these is they have shopping and I already got this awesome purse. So excited. Good morning, Blair. Oral and Boggs. Let's swoop. But every. Wonder if we can get any more. 
And we're lost too. No, we're so. Yes, we are. Is it right? <laughs> <laughs> we got in the car. <laughs> Day two. Heading over to go watch Cody. It's 5.30 at night and he's only just roping his first year now. So he's up pretty late in the draw. I think he's team like 8.97 and 9.01 and 9.50 something. I don't know. It's a lot of teams. <laughs> short round with my hot date. <laughs> <laughs> say decals <laughs> and apparently that's hilarious it's decals <laughs> decals <laughs> oh and we say semi truck <laughs> semi just driving around lost <laughs> Cody has places fancy <laughs> I have more than one fork <laughs> you know what to do with that <laughs> there we go thank you Cody, are you gonna see the village? <laughs> Maybe. because you want some of the pop tart? <laughs> Hi, Buster. I have a little shadow today. I'm just doing some truck cleaning and uh, so you won't leave me alone. So you missed me while I was gone. You're so cute. Oh, it's so nice out, you guys. Hi, babies. So does this mean you don't want to go for a ride? Red Pony Crew! Aww. Hi Redheads! <laughs> what do you think guys? Hmm? Hi, 
to now. <laughs> back on the road. Well, we are on the way back home to Canada. Um, I've got my traveling circus all packed up. I've just got Chase with me going back home for a little bit. Um, I'm just leaving Gritchie to have some time off. She worked so hard this year. And uh, yeah, I just think a little break is a good thing for her. Um, and yeah, Chase is one of those horses that you can ride all the time and he actually does better when he's ridden more frequently. So I'm just gonna keep riding him being he's for sale. So he's coming home. Good Chase staying in Washington to just hang out. Um, something this past week, it was the five month uh, mark, I guess, of Chad passing away. And um, it was really weird because I actually had, a, I didn't actually know the date was coming up. I'm really bad at paying attention to like what actual date it is. Um, but I had a dream about him the night before and it was so real and I swear I could feel him. Like it was like, I could feel, like I touched his face and I could feel my hand touch his face. Like it's, it's like I'm getting goosebumps even talking about it and I might cry. Um, but it's really incredible. Like I swear he constantly reminds me like I'm still here, I'm still around. Like I'm still keeping an eye on you. And um, I had a hard time, you know, kind of starting to see a new person because seeing a new guy, um, it's a struggle every day because I, like Cody is phenomenal, but I still have feelings for someone that isn't here anymore. So it's a really weird place to be in emotionally. And you know, I'm kind of just taking it day by day. And luckily I am, you know, dating a man who is incredibly understanding. Um, and you know, he said to me so many times, like, I can't relate to what you're going through but you know, I can help you through it. And I'm very, very blessed and feel so lucky to have someone like that come along to basically help me through something that is so horrifying. Anyway, um, I had this dream about Chad the night before, you know, the, the 28th, which is the you know five month mark. And um, I could feel him there, like I could feel him and I could feel him when I hugged him and it was just like, so real and I swear he's just like yeah I'm still here I'm still keeping an eye on you and it's okay for you to continue on with your life and that was something um, that I really needed to hear from him I think um, was just that it's okay for me to keep living because you know it feels like I lost someone who was my world and it's almost like you have to try and find your footing again without them so um, yeah, I think he's just reminding me, like, Maddie, I'm still here. I'm still keeping an eye on you, and I want you to keep living your life. So, um, I'm really grateful to have these sort of experiences because him and I always were so connected, and I think we're even more connected now. Um, so to know, you know, that he's still around, still keeping an eye on me, and that he wants me to be happy is just, like, the most incredible feeling. So, I feel really lucky to have that connection with him, even though he's passed on. Life, I tell you. Oh, I miss these little babies. Hi, boys. Passport. Hi. And hot dog man. Hi, babies. And Chase, are you happy to be home? I think he's missing that Washington alfalfa hay, but that's okay. <laughs> you guys have never had a yellow horse before. Are you always going to be dirty? Are we dirty? Well, thanks again for watching, you guys. You guys are awesome. I feel, um, I'm pretty excited to have, I'm getting close to reaching 500 subscribers. So in the YouTube world, that's like minuscule, but for me, that just feels really exciting. So, um, you know, it's growing little by little. So thanks for following you guys. And for those of you that haven't subscribed already, make a YouTube account and subscribe, please. Like it's really not that hard, I promise. Um, I'm a little bit, not really technologically inclined and I could do it. I can even make these videos. So yeah, subscribe, please. It would be awesome if you did. And, uh, yeah, I'll be home for a little bit here and, uh, I will keep you guys posted on what's going on here this week.